re-engaging, touching that, everything's good. Bacon is arming the bacon and goes live in three, two, one. Welcome back to Jam Labs. Today we're cooking bacon, uh, but instead of cooking it on a stove top, we're actually going to cook it uh, by plugging it into a wall. Now, if we take a look at uh, normal uh, electric heaters, I, ha I have one right here. Uh, if we take a look at one of these, typically they work by trans transmitting the uh, electricity into heat uh, in this pad, and then the heat conducts into the bacon and cooks it. Uh, but that's kind of inefficient. You lose some, you lose some heat energy in the transfer and to the air and stuff like that. But if you could bypass that and connect the electricity to the bacon and resistively heat the bacon directly instead of heating this plate and then doing that, you might be able to cook the bacon much more efficiently. So that's what we're trying to test today. Um, I just got finished with finals. Uh, this summer you guys are going to hear about many, many awesome projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's check this bacon thing out. This bacon has been plugged into the wall for about mm, probably a couple minutes, three minutes or so. If we take a look at its temperature, it is climbing nicely, 102 degrees. We are successfully cooking bacon at this point. It's just uh, just taking its sweet time. All right, check this out. It got to about 200 degrees there in the middle. I think it's time to make the bacon capacitor. I'm just gonna sandwich this bacon like a panini press in there. Nice little laser cut jig I set up last night. And uh, we'll see how it's gonna go. Bacon is go in three, two, one. That, I don't like that noise. That shouldn't be a noise. If we were just really cooking bacon. I don't think, no, that's more smoke. <laughs> Oh god, that smells bad. Wow. This guy just kind of like thoroughly burnt some of the parts there. Like immediately burnt through all up in there. It's warm. It's really warm. I think we just plug it in and let it go for a little while. Even though it was smoking. Okay, cool. There's also this really exciting idea that might mean that this would actually cook bacon uh, better than it would on a stove. So if we imagine, if we if we assume uh, to start that raw bacon is more conductive than cooked bacon, it, it's you know it's less resistive. Then when as it cooks, if any particular part is sort of not cooking well and it's a little bit rawer than usual, then it'll be more conductive and more power will be dumped into that little region and it'll cook it and it'll bring it up faster. So it automatically adjusts for that and automatically cooks your bacon at a very even level, at a very uh, very even temperature, uh, which, which is super cool. All right. Mmm. You can hear that sizzle. Let's, uh, let's take a look. I'm, I'm expecting it to be totally black. Oh, wow. Mine is, there's like a little black layer, but it looks like cooked bacon. Look at that bacon. That looks like, like some, some bacon right there. Wow, look at this. There's like this plating along our electrodes. I wonder what that is. I mean, clearly there's some electroplating, but what ions is it exchanging with the bacon? I don't know. We just measured our bacon, and uh, we are at about a hundred. <laughs> we're at about 100 degrees, so we're gonna try and cook this up. We want to get it above 160 degrees, so it's food safe and we can try it. Yeah, so you should be able to see those those orange flashes are the is the water electrolyzing because you're like forming hydrogen and oxygen as the, uh, as the water electrolyzes. But because it's AC, you get oxygen and hydrogen in the same spot. They combust. You get these little flashes of uh, light. I feel like if it was a really good contact. It should just be traveling all the way through the bacon, just heating it. But instead, what we're seeing is on the boundaries, 
it's kind of arcing, which makes me think that it's really not, it really doesn't have a good connection. I'm gonna press it down with this stick. Stick it in me. In three, two, one. Whoa! No, we're fine. It just blew something out for a sec. Moment of truth. Ooh. Looks like cooking to me. Alright, let's check the thermometer. 209 degrees Fahrenheit. 190 degrees. That's food safe. Probably. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna take a bite out of the middle here. Wow. That's not what I expected. So it's not quite like bacon. It tastes smoky. It tastes like it tastes like campfire is what it tastes like. I don't think I don't I don't think I want to like eat this for as bacon regularly. I don't quite evoke what I'm looking for. It's pretty cool though. It's kind of fun. Do you want to give that a shot? You want to try it? No. You don't want to give it a shot? No. No. All right. Well, I think this needs like a third iteration. I think that this I think we're not quite there yet. We have that problem with the, with the, uh, we have a problem with our electrodes making contact, uh, but overall, super fun project. I'll, uh, I'll post the, uh, uh like, illustrator files, our, our laser cut files, so for those who, like, have a laser cutter and want to try this at home, I mean, you can try this with just some tin foil and some cardboard, but I think the laser cut boards add some class. Uh, <laughs> this, all right, that was fun. That was a good project. Let's clean up. I'm gonna go wash my hands.